Hey y'all, so we're gonna make us some macaroni and chicken pasta today. But they call it something else online, but this is my old way. I just don't use bacon anymore. Now you're welcome to use it, I just don't use bacon, but here we go. We're gonna add us a little black pepper. Just a little bit of salt for your noodles. That come to a ball. So we're gonna add in about a half a pack of noodles in here. Not the whole pack, I have a pack. So while that's over there coming to a boil, we're going to get our cream cheese, softened cream cheese. We're going to get our chicken. Make sure it's good and shredded. You can use leftover chicken. You can use a rotisserie chicken. Just get you some chicken, okay? This is a whole cup. It's about a cup of side cream in here. Add just ranch first. Add your ranch and pack. Whip this up good. You want to add just a little bit of heavy whipping cream. Maybe uh, not even quite a half a cup. Let me measure this for y'all. This is one third of a cup. And that is plenty. Yeah. Yeah, this is more than enough. I'm just adding some more chicken and you can do that if you want to, you don't have to. Just once you start mixing and you see how much chicken you got in there, you might need to add a little more, okay? This is an easy recipe, but y'all talking about something good. Only thing I don't use, like I told y'all, is bacon in it anymore. Everything else I still use in it. This is one good meal. And now they calling it crack, crack chicken or crack something, macaroni crack, something they call it now, but it is delicious. I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese, just a little bit of the fiesta blend. I say about a about a half a cup. Let's drain these noodles. Let them drain. Let them drain all the water off. Make sure y'all can see me good. So now we're gonna add the noodles into here. We're gonna get this a good mix. Let me get my wooden spoon. Mix this up good. Mm. 
Only thing that's missing y'all is bacon. That's it. Then y'all, we gonna get rid and pull this up. Let me show it to you first. Y'all see that? Don't that look good? Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, I just tasted it and it's something missing. You know what's missing? Green onions. That's what's missing from this recipe is a few green onions. That's what's missing. And you don't have to bake it now. You can serve it just like this. It's going to be good either way. But that's what's missing, them green onions. Put them in now. Now, it's ready for the oven. It's oven ready, y'all. And all you're going to do is take this, some cheese, put you some cheese on top of it. Now I'm going to show it to you. It's ready to go in, y'all. Normally, I'll put bacon on top of this, too. I'm just going to do a few onions. Green onions. But it's ready to go in there. Oh, y'all. It's done. <laughs> Dinner done, y'all. Let me cut into this. Ooh, ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Y'all know I already know it's good anyway. Because I've had it before. This is so good, y'all. Every bite is flavored. It is so good. Mmm. Y'all gotta try this. Dinner done, y'all. It is good, too. Mmm. Post the recipe when you made them. Mm. Mm, that's so good. Oh, yeah. Ah! It's my more damn good, y'all.